Sorry, it's, it's only my second cup of coffee, so I'm not awake. Um, I uh, want to speak today about uh, the way, I guess the perception or the way I see the world and how inevitably the world is going to change. Um, do you want to, where's the technician up there? You want to start my presentation? It doesn't, you know, <clears throat> I have to say about images, we're inundated with images completely, right? We're spending seven and a half hours a day looking at the screen and we're seeing a lot of visual imagery, right? So you've seen all my work. I could show you some projects that are, you know, in, in development, but it's not really that important either. And in fact, you can read so much, there's so much information at your fingertips that, you know, the only thing I can do up here right now is speak from my heart and my soul and a little intellect I have. And so I will start with this. Design. It's a word that's completely misconstrued. Nobody seems to really talk about exactly what the subject is. We use it perpetually. We use it in uh, all kinds of diverse ways, but design is really came out of the Industrial Revolution, which a lot of people know. And I won't get too pedantic, but Industrial Revolution was 175 years ago. And what was the Industrial Revolution about? Mass production to produce goods that were affordable for a large audience. Hence, democratic design, designocracy, as I call it. So the agenda of design from the Industrial Revolution, and design came out of industrial design, out of product design, grew uh, with this notion that we were going to make good things that hopefully elevated human experiences, made life a little better, that were affordable to the majority, right? So what happened to design? Well, I would say in the late 70s, uh, there were a lot of intellects writing. One in particular was a French Jean-Francois Lyotard and also Jean Baudrillard who talked about systems of objects and talked about objects as having a kind of poetic position, meaning that something like this stool could be animated in a way that it could speak to you, it could express something from the designer, the creator, it, uh, how can I say, it had a life. In other words, there was this idea that we were trying to bring meaning to things. But that got misconstrued, obviously, because what happened is industry, as soon as CNC came involved, which is late 60s, started to do this. And designers started to do this. So designers all of a sudden started to play this game that they were, it was about self-expression. If I paint a painting, for example, and I'm full of angst, or I, I have nightmares, or I'm suicidal, like Francis Bacon, I paint dark, heavy paintings, right? If I'm a painter and I decide that I want to speak about popular culture or something, I go make a nice big bunny rabbit like Jeff Koons because uh, I'm a nice light guy who made a lot of money on the stock market. So <clears throat> this is the art, yeah? But this is not design. Why? Because design is full of criteria and criteria that's br brought on from the commercial industry, from marketing, from engineers, from CEOs, from all these people, these players. I always say as a designer, I'm kind of like the conductor of the orchestra. So I have to like, you know, okay, marketing. And then I go over here, oh, uh, let's see, production managers, oh, over here. Da, da. And I have to bring these people together to kind of create something harmonic. So it can't be about self-expression. How could it be completely about self-expression? And I always see that the artist in a way, and I'm going to say this to all you artists out there because I show in the art world too, so I'm an artist sometimes, I guess. Very selfish people, right? Artists are the most selfish people in the world. Why? Because you do whatever you want to do, right? You go into the studio and say, I don't know, I have an idea. I'm gonna. You, have, you have no real, um, how can I say, criteria in a way, unless you develop your own criteria, and you have no really anyone to report to, unless your gallerist is bothering you and saying, come on, you know, I need a show next September, you better show me what you're going to do. But still, it's a kind of 100% self-expression. So the artist is a self